Good morning. Sorry. There is a dog in a car. It's a Nissan Altima, and the three first three letters of the license plate are 7EB. The windows are closed, and people have turned in their concerns about this dog and the car. Again, it's a Nissan Altima 7EB. If this is your car, please help us out. Thank you.
Everyone, please be seated. Everyone, please be seated.
Please be seated. Good morning. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, administration, faculty, and staff, it's my great pleasure to welcome parents, family, friends, faculty, students, and alumni to the 34th commencement of Glenelg Country School. Today, we honor the 77 members of the class of 2022. This is a very special group that has displayed tremendous resilience and strength in the face of the COVID era's unprecedented challenges. How does we of your achievements? We are most proud of who you are as people. In addition to our graduates, this is a special day for many others as well. To the parents of our graduates, we thank you for partnering with us during your child's GCS journey. To our faculty and staff, we thank you for your commitment, dedication, and hard work in helping our graduates meet their highest potential. Being a faculty member and a parent at the same time brings both special joys and occasionally unique challenges. And we want to recognize Karen Dodge, Paulette Ward, Ann Smith, Jean Farquhar, and Tanya Gunderson, who have graduates today. To Mr. Brad Smith, Chair of our Board of Trustees and parent of Taylor, Class of 2012, and Logan, Class of 2014, and to all of our trustees, we thank you. We thank you for your love of GCS and for all you do to strengthen and support our great school. A special congratulation to trustees Carrie Morningstar, Dean Eastwood, and Angela Quigley on the graduation today of Joni, Blake, and Hannah, respectively. We're going to begin uh, this morning with our Always a Dragon recognition. We want to honor our students who have never attended another school and have spent at least 13 consecutive years here at GCS. This year, we have 18 lifers who will receive Always a Dragon recognition. I'm going to ask Linda Rotter, our former head of primary school, to please join me. Linda, come on up. Linda, as many of you know, retired in 2015 after 35 years at Glenelg Country School. Our first lifer, Abigail L. Andrus. Juliana S. Ardia. Grace Olivia Cooper. Daniel Coy. Samuel Elston Dodge. Ryan Fagan. Alexander Farquhar.
Kate Francis Furman. Amberlyn Chase Garcia. Nora Garamani. Emily Claire Kavik. Joseph P. Marshall. Joan Morningstar. Elizabeth A. Owibodi. Jackson Alexander Roth. Matthew G. Smith. Maria Valentina Tamarchio. Jimmy Ward the third. We'll now move on to our senior reflections. Our first speaker today is Daniel Coy. Daniel brings a unique combination of humility, insight, and passion to whatever he does. A four-year varsity basketball player, A student, and National Honor Society member, Daniel's work in community service is what most distinguishes him. An impressive speaker of poise and confidence, the depth of his intellect is matched only by the size of his heart. A member of Common Ground, the GCS Student Diversity Group, Daniel has been a lead student organizer of the Baltimore Student Diversity Leadership Conference and youth worker with the Maryland Alliance for Justice Reform, MAJR. He has also helped lead and organize the GCS International Holiday Bazaar and devotes weekly time to the Shiloh Christian Fellowship Food Bank. His integrative paper was titled, A Stride Toward the Promised Land, The Elusive Quest for Repertory Justice in the United States. And he completed a field placement with the GCS Diversity Coordinator, Sheena Jordan, working on issues of diversity, inclusion, and equity here on our campus. Daniel will attend George Washington University this fall. Daniel Coy. Thank you, Mr. Walsh. Good morning. A few weeks ago, a few friends and I stayed late after school to review for our AP physics exam. And after our review session, while I was waiting for my dad to pick me up, 
I realized that aside from the diligent cleaning crew, I was the only person left in the upper school. It already dark out. I, for the first time in weeks, actually stopped to reflect. And somehow, I began to walk around, pacing the halls, sitting in the forum, entering old classrooms, and thinking more deeply about my time here at GCS. In this moment, I came across three lessons that GCS has taught me, lessons that I feel are crucial as we, the class of 2022, prepare to embark on the next phase of our respective journeys. First is to never place any limits on yourself, not limits on what you can learn, nor on what you can achieve. One of the staples of the GCS experience is the spirit of persistent learning, and alongside that, persistent development. Such a sense of curiosity is vital as we depart GCS. Always strive to learn more, to do more, and dream big. For in the words of Langston Hughes, devoid of dreams, life is a barren field frozen with snow. In so doing, declare success over your future and make proclamations on your behalf. As I look around this room, I see future doctors and engineers, presidents and authors, musicians and athletes. I look out and see greatness. I see leadership. Secondly, we must embrace that leadership. And to do this, we must fully immerse ourselves in a community. One of the things GCS has taught me, and I'm sure the entire class, is that leadership requires engagement. You must be involved. In this sense, we must integrate our interests and abilities with those of the broader world. We must use all our knowledge and skills, not only for our individual progression and development, but for the betterment of others, the betterment of society writ large. And that is the legacy of this institution, the backbone and mission of this place, to prepare students to become responsible and contributing members of our global society. As I stand before you this morning, I am both proud and humbled to say that the class of 2022 has inherited this gene, and we are ready and capable of fulfilling its task. Lastly, but certainly not least, is staying hopeful in the face of adversity. Despite its incredible reward, the task of leadership is not to be understated. It entails the weathering of many storms and the fighting of many uphill battles. Life for none of us will be a crystal stair. Our ascension to the moon of our potential will be constrained by the gravitational force or individual fears, insecurities, and dilemmas. Yet for us leaders coming from Glenelg Country School, there is some good news. We have been equipped with all the tools necessary to defeat such obstacles. We have been given a mighty powerful sword to fend off the inevitable encroachments of the enemy. As aspiring leaders, the class of 2022 has everything we need to succeed and thrive in the future. Yet I would be remiss if I did not comment on the role of these various trials and tribulations. Obstacles later in life will have a purpose, namely to teach us certain lessons, the most important of which, I reckon, is to keep moving forward. Despite what may come, with eyes steady on our North Star, we shall press on and press on, always remembering that the hotter the battle, the sweeter the victory. As such, I want to leave you with a quote from Dr. King that echoes these sentiments. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Our next speaker is Hannah Quigley. Hannah has distinguished herself throughout her GCS career as a scholar, an actor, and singer whose deep interest in community and civil service marks her as a future leader of distinction. While low-key and grounded in one-to-one -one conversations, 
She brings the focus and intensity of a professional to the stage. Community events and the civic institutions. A cum laude inductee, she has participated in GCS's choirs and or musicals for all of her 10 years at GCS and is a recipient of both the Janney Family Service Award and a Girl Scout Gold Award. Hannah was elected to participate in the American Legion Auxiliary Girl State Program for Maryland last summer and there was elected to represent Maryland at Girls Nation in Washington, D.C. She sponsored a mock presidential election in the upper school in 2020 to advocate for political engagement and she served as a student page on the floor of the Maryland General Assembly. Her integrative paper, United We Stand, Divided We Speak, focused on the divisive rhetoric and manipulation characterizing the contemporary American media. And she spent her field placement as a legislative and campaign intern in State Senator Katie Fry Hester's office. She will attend Cornell University in the fall. Hannah Quigley. Good morning, Mr. Walsh, Mr. Neblet, and the Board of Trustees. Hello, faculty and staff, family and friends, and the GCS class of 2022. Congratulations, everyone. After working and sacrificing for the past four years, we are graduating high school. Thank you to our administration, our teachers, and our parents for helping us get on this stage today. For many of us, June 2022 may have felt so far away and like it would never come. We may have eagerly anticipated this day for all these years and looked forward to it. Yet today, we should remember to slow down and live in the moment as we reflect on our days as a Dragon family. An American literary icon, no Mr. Matson, not Herman Melville, but Robert Frost, reminds us in his poem, Nothing Gold Can Stay, that our favorite times, like those we had at GCS, are fleeting. So how should we go about honoring our experience here? My first day at GCS was almost 10 years ago in the fall of 2012. I came to the lower school clad in my plaid jumper back in the days when girls did not have to wear kilts, anxious for the start of third grade. I hoped to find new friends and a new community what I found was a family. Our GCS family has changed over the decade that I have been a dragon. We said goodbye to some students and faculty members and said hello to some new ones. Yet the one thing that remains constant is our shared traditions and our memories. There are far too many to enumerate, but I'll share a few highlights that I know brought us together. In lower school, each May, we would go to the teardrop for field day, prepared for a day of Glens versus Elks tug of war, where some of us would inevitably get rope burns, but we would still have fun. Later, we sat by the upper school fields, popsicles in hands, ready to cheer on our friends in the all school relay. We had our bitter green versus white rivalry on these days, but supporting our peers as they ran around the track always gave us the same dragon pride. In middle school, once each December rolled around, we got to work on our STEAM fair essays and projects. While some of us complained about the fair constantly, and others of us loved it so much that we decided to create a functioning hovercraft or an Aurora Borealis in a jar, we all certainly bonded over our shared experience. In upper school, there was a pandemic. The school shut down. We had to substitute seeing each other's faces in the flesh every day to seeing each other in pixelated boxes on our screens for over a year. Yet, COVID did not break our class's unity and spirit. When we kicked off senior year in person at our senior sunrise, I knew that our class would be together again, ready to support each other through 1159 integrative deadlines and the whirlwind that is the American college application process. Our GCS family as we graduate today is unique and diverse. We have come to appreciate each other's talents and quirks. For example, I know that on every tag day, 
Mr. Hudgens is going to show up in a kilt and some sort of ironic t-shirt. I know that some of us excel in our Dragon Stadium. You can't do much better than third in the nation for girls lacrosse, right? I know that others of us pour our hearts and souls into our Mullets Theater. Whether we play an instrument, sing in a choir, perform in musical productions, or assist with sets, tech, and costumes. I know that still more of us dedicate ourselves to the GCS community and beyond, planning school events like our dances and class cup competitions and leading service initiatives from our youth and philanthropy program. Seniors, our accomplishments, challenges, and chosen family have defined our time at GCS. Now we will all go our separate ways, from California to New York, from Canada to Taiwan. This transition time is going to be difficult for us. We might look to the past, reminiscing on our days at GCS and worrying about what will happen when we are not all sitting together in modern world history anymore. We might look forward to the future, eagerly awaiting the day we get to college to move on and start the next chapter of our lives. I encourage you to find a balance, for nothing gold can stay. Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaf's a flower, but only so, an hour. Then leaf subsides to leaf. So Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down today. Nothing gold can stay. So appreciate the time we are spending together right here, right now. Our GCS experience is coming to a close but we are forever connected by the years we have spent here. Moving forward, we will always cherish our friends and our teachers, no matter where we are or what we are doing, because we are a family. GCS will always be where our roots lie. That's how we stay gold. Congratulations again, class of 2022. We're all gone. <laughs> Wow, excellent job by Hannah and Daniel. Thank you very much. Can we have another round of applause for both of them, please? <laughs> Mr. Wallace, we need to change the order up here so I don't have to follow the uh, senior speakers every year. So glad I only have the greetings from the board section of the ceremony today after those two tremendous uh, seniors. Good morning, Dragons. I'm Brad Smith. Chair of the GCS Board of Trustees. On behalf of the board, I would like to thank you for joining us on this beautiful morning and what is the culmination and celebration of many, many years of challenging work by the class of 2022. As Mr. Welch mentioned, I'm the parent of two graduates of GCS, 2012 and 2014, so today I can relate to both the pride and nostalgia felt by the parents and loved ones in our audience and congratulate them on having raised such impressive young adults. Your class has experienced changes to our normal GCS practices and schedule that no one could have expected or considered a little over two years ago. Your class led the way for the school to embrace these changes to ensure that education and learning continued. You have completed a highly successful senior year at GCS and 13 or 14 plus years for those 18 lifers in this class, which is a great number. You will discover disappointments in every turn of your life. How you manage luck, good or bad, and those disappointments will determine your long-term successes. And by judging by your recent actions, this class will be just fine going forward. The resiliency is to be commended. To our graduates, I hope that you appreciate the value of your educational experience at GCS. We know it wasn't always easy. We understand the sacrifices were made by many of you and your families in order for you to attend GCS but you are the best evidence that such, such sacrifices were worth it. The GCS bubble will end on graduation day, but by, by reviewing the wonderful colleges that you have been accepted at and will be attending, I believe you are more than ready as well. We have watched your class develop academically, artistically, and athletically over the past 13 years. You've accomplished a tremendous amount that you and your parents and your family should be very proud of, as is the board, the leadership team, and your teachers and advisors are. You are soon to be the next ambassadors from GCS. 
Your successes forward will reflect positively on GCS, and your experiences here have prepared you for those successes. Please remember GCS and return as proud alumni to further the legacy of GCS by taking part in as many events as you can to stay connected. We will certainly remember you. We will remember you as the class that rose to and overcame the many challenges faced by GCS during your upper school years. As I said when I began, it's been a highly successful senior year and for your class. You showed maturity, resiliency, leadership beyond your years. And by doing so, you lived the words of our mission statement, which happens to be in the front portion of the program, and help all of us remember what makes GCS so special. You were the first graduating class under Mr. Walsh's leadership and guidance. For that, your class will always have a special place in his memories. Thank you, and we wish you much happiness and success in the years to come. We now have a special presentation to make of an honorary diploma. Corey Shorb will be receiving an honorary diploma today, and Corey is retiring from GCS this year. Corey is the very example of what the Glenelg Country School founders must have imagined when creating this special place. Mrs. Shorb has dedicated 27 years to educating our youngest students. She began her tenure back in 1995 in the Manor House when it housed the kindergarten to eighth grades. As a kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Shorb taught in what is now the Manor House cafeteria. After its opening, she moved to the primary building and became the science lab teacher for the primary students. Mrs. Shorb has tirelessly taught with a caring, gentle, and calm presence in the lives of hundreds of children. This alone makes her worthy of our appreciation. Her excellence in teaching is only the beginning. Mrs. Shorb created innovative programs throughout her career. She assisted in creating the Tinker Lab in the primary building, creating one of the first maker spaces for young children. The beloved tradition of hatching the chicks each spring and eventually housing egg-laying chickens in a coop on the recess field is attributed to Mrs. Shorb officially. She has always embraced the tradition of the country school that is Glenelg. Her approach to creating a program is beautifully intertwined with the innovation necessary to prepare our students for the future to come. Mrs. Shorb advocated for hands-on and experiential learning very early in her career. The mess of it all never intimidated her. Mrs. Shorb's legacy will live on in the practice of forest time. She proposed the idea of returning children to the forest to experience the beautiful world of unstructured and natural learning through play. As academics nationally became less and less developmentally appropriate, Mrs. Shorb introduced the concept of science, physical education, and nature play to Glenelg Country School. It's a cherished time where children can build gross and fine motor skills, learn to take risks, and safely explore the world around them. Forest time is undoubtedly a long-lasting tradition. For the Shorbs, the gift to the community has always been a family affair. Mrs. Shorb has two incredibly talented daughters who attended GCS. Her husband, Mr. Brett Shorb, supported each of her endeavors, giving hours of support behind the scenes. With great honor and humble gratitude, we present Corey Shorb with an honorary Glenelg Country School diploma. Corey. We'll now move on to the conferring of diplomas for the class of 2022. For each graduate, I'm going to read comments about their GCS experience that they wrote themselves. And I'll also share a quote with you that they wanted me to read. Amir Abdal Khalik. <laughs> 
Although my time at GCS was short, being only three years, the relationships I built feel as though I've known them for my whole life. The tight-knit community allowed me to try out new things with no fear of failure, as I have a huge support system around me to help me back to a path of success. And his quote, if I were not Diogenes, I would also wish to be Diogenes. Diogenes. Congratulations. Adam Abdur Rahman. Ever since joining the GCS community in second grade, I have felt welcome and had the ability to grow as an individual without feeling ostracized. I want to thank my teachers, coaches, and my friend Shadera throughout the past 10 years for believing in me, because honestly, without them, I would not be before you today. Pro tip for the underclassmen, enjoy high school while it lasts, because it goes by very, very fast. And his quote, fear is temporary, regret is forever. Anonymous. <laughs> Abigail L. Andrus. <laughs> Being a lifer at GCS has been a unique and rewarding experience. I am thankful for the relationships I have made with all of my teachers throughout my 15 years at GCS. I know that I will miss family days, school dances, field hockey, and pottery class with Mrs. Banker. I am grateful for friendships that I have had since primary school, as well as new friendships that I've made in upper school. This school has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember, thanks to my parents, and it has been difficult to grasp that this is the end. And her quote, your time is limited, so don't waste it living somebody else's life. Steve Jobs. <laughs> Juliana S. Ardia. <laughs> Jules has attended GCS since pre-K, and ever since has loved the experience and opportunities that she has gained from the school. She will forever cherish the friendships she has formed throughout her years, carrying them into college. Jewel's favorite memory at GCS was the bonding experiences and family days. Overall, the tight-knit community has helped Jules grow into who she is today. And her quote from Dr. Seuss, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Sophia Medine Bandier. Coming to GCS taught me about the importance of academics, but above this, the importance of opportunities. Being able to make lasting connections, participate in athletics, and find what I am passionate about has shaped me into the person I am today. GCS has made me more confident in all aspects of my life, and I am truly grateful for the community and the opportunities that it has given me. And her quote from Audrey Hepburn, never regret anything that makes you smile. <laughs> Elizabeth Bateman. <laughs> Elizabeth says, I want to thank GCS for giving me lifelong friends and providing an environment in which I could excel. I will cherish the memories made here. I will especially miss singing karaoke with my carpool and laughing with my teammates. I can't wait to continue to grow as a person and as a student at UMBC, go Retrievers. And her quote from the Gators, so the dragons are real. <laughs> Justin Bell. Justin writes, learning programming and building circuits are some of the most fun and intriguing activities I've done at GCS. It's inspired me to set a goal to make a quantum computer. It's been a goal that I've had since middle school, and I haven't made one yet, but I'm going to get there. I know I'll be able to accomplish it, though. 
GCS has given me the tools to accomplish anything I put my mind to. And his quote, if I die in a cage, I lose a bet from Rich Sanchez. <laughs> Manav Banderi. When I was touring prospective high schools as an eighth grader, I wanted a school with a strong academic curriculum that would help me develop a strong work ethic and prepare me for college. These past four years at GCS have allowed me to grow not only as a student, but also as an athlete, friend, and a person. I would like to thank the business department for helping me pursue my passion for business. And his quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Amiro Chahal. Amiro is incredibly grateful to have the opportunity to be a part of the GCS community for the past four years. The unique experiences she's had shaped her into the person she has become today and will forever inspire her to do better. She would like to thank her family and friends who stood by her through thick and thin. She's excited to see what the future holds and wishes love and light to all of her classmates and teachers. Her quote is from Zayn Malik. Life is funny. Things change, people change, but you will always be you. So stay true to yourself and never sacrifice who you are for anyone. Amira. Manodeep Chahal. Mano has many wonderful memories at GCS, both good and bad, some of which he will cherish for the rest of his life. The opportunities he has had in athletics and in the classroom have prepared him well for the future. Mano would like to express his gratitude to his parents for providing him with the chance to attend GCS and for their unwavering support. Mano will be studying computer science at the University of Maryland. His quote, which is anonymous, is, if tomorrow isn't the due date, D-U-E, then today isn't the due date, D-O. Mano. Grace Olivia Cooper. Grace chose to choose the kindergarten class at GCS instead of pre-K way back in 2009, and thank goodness she did. Now, 13 years later, Grace still shares the same amazing friends as she did back then, and every year since has felt like adding new members to the family. She's grateful to have grown up in such a supportive environment. She would like to thank the GCS community for inspiring her to follow her dreams. And her quote from Timothy, for God has not given us the spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Grace. Alyssa Nicole Corsetti. GCS helped her find what she wanted to do after high school. Because of the classes here she was both offered and required to take, she discovered her enjoyment of engineering. She would like to thank Mr. Shovlin for being the teacher that kept that enjoyment going. She would also like to thank her parents for sticking by her throughout the COVID years when she needed that support. She will be attending Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University to study aerospace engineering in hopes to be building all of the rockets that everybody sees in the future. Her quote is from Cliff Burton. Every once in a while, we may fall on our face, but we insist on doing what we want to do. <laughs> Daniel Coy. When reflecting on my time at Glenelg Country School, the word that comes to mind is family. Being a lifer, I have come to embrace the beauty of this place. Beyond intensive coursework and academic rigor, the value of an education here lies in the connections we forge along the way. 
the enduring relationships we nourish, not only among students, but with faculty and staff as well. Much greater than the sum of its parts, Glenelg Country School embodies the spirit of community that both makes it my second home and prepares me well for the world ahead. As I leave those gates and conclude my education here, I know that I am a dragon forever. And his quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., if you can't fly, run, if you can't run, walk, if you can't walk, crawl, but by all means, keep moving. Daniel. Akila M. Desianakia. Akila has been a GCS student since second grade and values the friendships she has formed with her teachers and friends. Making lifelong friends and discovering her passions shaped her into the person she is today. Akila's favorite memory is being a part of family day and participating in all the activities. GCS has given her greater confidence in many aspects of her life. She is grateful for the opportunities that it has provided her. Her quote is from Bob Marley. Beginnings are usually scary and endings are usually sad, but it's everything in between that makes it all worth living. Akila. Samuel Elston Dodge. An important experience for me at GCS was taking the manual arts class as well as being on the lacrosse team. Being a part of the manual arts class is the same as being part of a sports team. I would work together with my classmates to accomplish goals like building a table in class and scoring a goal in the field. Next year, I'll be studying to become a nurse and playing lacrosse at Moravian University. Sam's quote is from Jing Free C S S. Enjoy the side trips a lot, okay? Things that are more important than what you're hunting for could be right there by the side of the road. Sam. Blake Alexander Eastwood. Blake's GCS experience allowed him to grow as a student and as a person. Along the way, he made a few lifelong friends and acquired the skills that would be crucial for college and beyond. His best memories came from his time on the men's varsity soccer and lacrosse teams. Some of you may look at Blake and think of him as the man who led the soccer team to a championship his freshman year, but in reality, he is a normal member of the GCS community. <laughs> Go Dragons. And his quote is anonymous, the best cologne for a man is sweat from his hard work. Blake. Brian Edwards. One of my most significant experiences at GCS was the friendships that I made along the way. One of my greatest friendships originated from trying out wrestling, and from wrestling, I met Justin Bell. For all six years I've been at GCS, Justin's been my wrestling partner, but also a real mentor in toughness and resilience. So to reflect on GCS, it can really teach you great friendships and inclusivity. His quote from Friedrich Nietzsche, without music, life would be a mistake. Ryan. Samuel Legindu is not here today, but I will read, of course, his name and his quote. His quote is also from Audrey Hepburn. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. <laughs> Ryan Fagan. After attending GCS for 14 years, I want to express my gratitude for my amazing teachers and coaches who have helped shape me into the person I am today. It is always a very gratifying experience when I run into my former teachers. It may have been 10 years since they taught me, but they're always eager to catch up, reminisce, and offer advice. Interactions like these encapsulate the GC community that I am so proud to have been a part of. 
His quote is from Dr. Seuss, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Ryan. Alexander Farquhar. Being a lifer at GCS has given me some of the best memories over the last 15 years. I have made some lifelong friends and really have been able to explore my interests here. One of my favorite memories at GCS was being a captain of the men's soccer team. P.S. Blake was not actually a captain. <laughs> I'm extremely thankful for GCS and everything it has done for me. And his quote is from Snoop Dogg. You might not have a car or a big gold chain. Stay true to yourself and things will change. Alexander. Kate Francis Furman. Kate says that she will never forget her experiences at GCS. She says that her teachers, classmates, and various sports coaches have left such an impact on the person that she is and will soon become, and to GCS, she is forever grateful. Kate cannot imagine her life without these people but she is very excited to be continuing her academic and athletic career at St. Joseph's University to play lacrosse and a major in health studies. And her quote, I lost both ACLs in the process, but I finally got my high school diploma. Shout out Lizzie Bateman and Ariana Silvestri. The quote is from Ariana Silvestri. Amberlynn Chase Garcia. Amber has come to look at GCS as a second home and a second family. She has learned so much from her peers and teachers throughout the years, and she will cherish the memories she's made here forever. Amber would especially like to thank the Performing Arts Department for fostering her passion for performing and hopes to see it grow in the future. GCS will be with her wherever she goes. Her quote from Truman Burbank in The Truman Show is, good morning, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Nora Garamani. Over the last 15 years, GCS has become an integral part of Nora's life. What she values most about her experience at GCS is the well-roundedness she has acquired as a scholar. Not limited only to be a science person or a humanities person, she is free to explore her passions in all of her classes, clubs, and extracurriculars. Although words alone cannot communicate her immense gratitude, Nora wants to thank her parents, teachers, peers, and God for making such an experience possible for her. And her quote is from Rumi, let yourself become living poetry. Nora. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Glaw. I am grateful for all of the friendships I have created over the last four years. I'm going to miss all the field trips, class cup, cup competitions, and volleyball games during our free periods. I'm very thankful for all the great experiences I have had this year, and I'm excited to continue my ac academic and athletic journey at Towson University. And her quote, you have your whole life to be old, but you only have a few years to be young. Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> Caitlin Go. <clears throat> GCS has had a huge impact on who I have become as a person. The teachers and students have made the environment safe and comfortable. I have also learned many things about myself, and I am proud of my growth that GCS has caused. I have made so many great memories with the people at GCS, and I cannot wait to make more outside of this amazing community. In her quote from Dr. Seuss, sometimes you'll never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Caitlin.
Nia Grant. Coming to GCS in ninth grade, I felt very welcomed by the upperclassmen and always loved that friendships between grades were easy and fun to make. I've made quite a few beautiful connections during my four years here, realized that I'm an extrovert, and I'm grateful to have learned many things along the way. Now I'm ready to learn more about myself and how I will make my mark in the real world. Her quote is from Steve Harvey. No matter how dark it looks for you, no matter what others say, no matter what the quote-unquote verdict is, it's not over. Nia. Trey Green. A significant experience for me this year was senior night for basketball. Seeing everyone gather together, celebrating one common thing, really brought me joy. As many of you know, I was the only senior transfer that came in this year because GCS does not usually accept senior transfers. But my situation was unique with me losing my entire junior basketball season due to COVID. The main thing this year made me realize is that I wish I had more time to spend with a lot of the new relationships that I had gained when going to this amazing school. Some of the bonds I built made it seem like I was here for all four years of upper school. And Trey's quote is from Kobe Bryant, rest at the end, not in the middle. Trey. Corinne Renee Grimes. I came to GCS in ninth grade and instantly felt at home. Everyone was so nice and welcoming. My favorite memory was my senior soccer season and meeting my favorite coaches, Coach Bailey and Coach Humphrey. I would like to thank GCS for allowing me to meet amazing friends and teachers and making great memories. And her quote is from Michael Scott, my mind goes a mile an hour. <laughs> Corinne. Anna Gabriella Guerra. I came to Glenelg Country School in eighth grade and immediately felt welcomed by all the amazing faculty and students. I even remember making friends right away when I shadowed in seventh grade because everyone was so open and so kind to new people. I will always remember the teachers from the schools. They've helped me improve my work ethic and even become a more well-rounded individual. Her quote is from Albert Hubbard, don't take life too seriously. No one makes it out alive anyway. You know. Gavin Scott Gunderson. The theater program has been the highlight of my GCS career. Before GCS, I had never sung or done any acting whatsoever, but after being forced to join, I fell in love with it. Theater has given me an opportunity to become a leader and to connect with the GCS community. Many students and teachers aided me during my time at GCS, molding me into the person I am today, and to them I say thank you. And his quote is from himself. That wasn't like high school musical at all. <laughs> Ryan C. Hammond. A special memory is going to Florida every spring break with the baseball team. Things about me. I truly love this school, and it will forever hold a special place in my heart. I love how I evolved at this school. Whether you know it or not, whether we have spoken once or every day, you all hold a special place in my heart, and I will forever appreciate everything everyone has done for me. Love you guys. Roll guns. And his quote from Brian Hammond. If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Brian. <laughs> Benjamin Logan Hewlett. Coming in his junior year, Ben is amazed at the impact that his time at GCS has had on him. GCS was a welcoming and rewarding community to be a part of where academic, athletic, and extracurricular opportunities abound, a place where teachers become mentors and friends become family. Ben has cherished his time here 
and he would like to thank his teachers, friends, and family for, for providing him invaluable guidance and advice along the way. His quote is from General George S. Patton, Jr. Lead me, follow me, or get out of my way. Benjamin. Matthew Candia. Yeah. During Matthew's time at GCS, he was able to improve the way he learned and connected with others to the point that he was able to grow as a person. He's come to believe that this maturity will also help him grow as a better thinker, one who has the patience to listen and consider what others have to say. His quote is anonymous. Life is all about growth. If you're not growing, you're not succeeding. Matthew. <laughs> Emily Claire Kavik. Perhaps most memorable have been the athletic events this spring. Splaying out on the grass with friends, listening to some of the more outspoken spectators, has given Emily immeasurable joy. They, these games, are the ultimate testament to Glenelg's greatest lesson yet, how to have fun. And her quote is from Havelock Ellis, all the art of living lies in a fine mingling of letting go and holding on. Emily. <laughs> Laura Kim. Coming to Glenelg has given her so many opportunities for growth, academically, athletically, and most importantly, as a person. It helped to foster her love of science and biology. From sixth grade to twelfth grade, Glenelg has given her many opportunities to discover her passions and to embrace them. This school will leave her with many positive memories, and she hopes that it continues to do the same for others to come. Her quote is from Richard Weber. It's good to be scared. It means you still have something to lose. Laura. Arden C. Kliplishner. My most important experience at, GCA, at GCS was probably coming here. I got to learn about and try so many new things, like learning Latin for seven years now, stage combat, track and field, manual arts, Moby Dick, and discovering my love of slightly unusual pottery. I will keep pursuing all of these interests in the years to come, so thank you to everyone in this community who has helped me discover such amazing things. And her quote is from Taliesin Jaffe, Critical Role. Someday, somebody will pray for a miracle, pray for something to save them, to whatever gods are nearby. And that prayer will be answered because you'll show up. That's how it works. Arden. Landon LaRose. One of the most significant strengths of this school is the amount of different choices of classes that allowed me to study what I was interested in. Landon's quote is from himself. If it looks stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Landon. <laughs> Caitlin Marie Levy. What makes GCS special to Katie is the amazing academic, arts and sports opportunities here. Whether it was doing dissections in anatomy, soldering pipes in manual arts, playing the flute in the pit orchestra, or running cross country, Katie gains skills she can take into college and beyond. GCS is like a second home to her. Katie would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for their support throughout all her time at GCS. Her quote from Dr. Seuss, sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Katie. Sydney Josephine Victoria Lisk. Sydney would like to thank GCS for the friendships, experiences, and memories that she will cherish forever. She is thankful for the education that she has received here at Glenelg Country School and is excited to apply the knowledge that she has learned when she is attending and playing lacrosse at Loyola University, Maryland, this fall. Her quote is anonymous. Why fall in love when you can fall asleep? 
Zhang Lu. The most important experience for me at GCS is constructing my senior integrative paper. While providing its students the opportunity to explore their interests through the process of research, GCS prepares them for future college studies by designing a rigorous yet flex flexible task, the senior paper. I will carry these fond memories with me as I enter the University of Tokyo, where I hope to thrive with the skills I learned at GCS. His quote is from Elizabeth Wordsworth. If all good people were clever, and all clever people were good, the world would be nicer than ever what it possibly could. Thank you. Lucas William Manceras. Every student is changed after spending time at Glenelg Country School. William is most grateful for the critical thinking and communication skills he acquired during his 12-year tenure as a Dragon. He'd like to extend a special thanks to Mr. Doty, Mr. Matson, and Mr. Hudgens for challenging him academically, engaging him intellectually, and entertaining him each and every class period. William plans to major in molecular engineering at the University of Chicago this fall. And his quote is from Mark Twain. The two most important days of your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. Lucas, William. <laughs> Joseph P. Marshall. Joseph started his journey at GCS as a kindergartner and developed into an exemplary young man. He was active in multiple extracurricular activities and was a member of the varsity cross country, soccer, and lacrosse teams. By completing over 500 hours of community service and a $20,000 campaign to sponsor a mine detection dog, Joseph realized his compassion to serve others. He hopes to pursue this passion as a career by attending the Coast Guard Academy. Joseph's quote is from Theodore Roosevelt. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error or shortcoming, but who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who knew neither victory nor defeat. Joseph. <laughs> Jacqueline Teresa Marzal. I am so thankful for the experiences that GCS has given me. Being a part of the lacrosse team has helped me develop skills on and off the field that I will carry with me wherever life takes me. My teachers have inspired me in so many ways and encouraged me to boldly follow my passions, especially in the areas of art, psychology, and mental health, and I will be forever grateful. I'll be studying psychology at the University of Notre Dame and playing women's lacrosse, and GCS has given me so many life lessons that I will hold close to me while I'm there. Thank you, GCS, for an amazing four years. And her quote is from Noah Centineo. It matters not what you've done, but what you do with what you've done for others. Jacqueline. <laughs> Jamie Margaret Marzal. During her time at GCS, Jamie has met some of her closest friends and has been opened up to so many new opportunities, such as her role of Toto, being field hockey goalie, lacrosse manager, and writing her own songs in Mr. Land's class. Jamie is so grateful for everything that GCS and her teachers have done to help prepare her for the future. Roll Gans. Her quote, I did meet some of the most insufferable people, but they also had to meet me, Shane Madej. Jamie. <laughs>
Stephanie Robin Marzal. I'm so grateful for my time at GCS. I am thankful for the time spent with my teammates, conversations in my art class, and most importantly, the walks to get lax snacks. GCS gave me a place to make lifelong friends and pursue my passions. Roll gons forever. And her quote is from Michael Scott. The only time I set the bar low is for limbo. Stephanie. <laughs> Brennan McNeely. My most significant memory from GCS was being a member of the boys varsity lacrosse team. I will value every moment on this team from the bus rides to away games to the parties in the locker room after a win. I'll especially value all the relationships that I made with my teammates and coaches throughout my four years on the team. I will continue playing lacrosse at Stevenson University. And Brennan's quote is from Michael Clifford, don't give up on your dreams, keep sleeping. Brennan. Taylor A. Monaco. I came to GCS in eighth grade and have been a part of the girls' tennis team every year. I enjoyed every practice while improving my skills on and outside of the courts. These skills have prepared me for my future, including my senior speech. I've always been quiet, and the speech allowed me to come out of my comfort zone. I will be attending James Madison University next year and majoring in early childhood education. Taylor's quote is from Kristen Butler. Sunsets are proof that no matter what happens, every day can end beautifully. Taylor. Joan Morningstar. <laughs> Having spent the past 13 years here, it's easy to call GCS my home. I'll never forget the endless memories I have made with my friends throughout the years and the teachers who have taught me lessons that I'll carry forever. I am thankful for my family who has made this amazing experience possible and supported me every step of the way. Although I'm sad to say goodbye, I can't wait to see what the future holds for me. Her quote was from Gusteau. If you focus on what you left behind, you'll never be able to see what lies ahead. Joni. David Myrick. I am very thankful to be a part of GCS. The opportunities I have had in athletics and in the classroom have prepared me well for the future. David values the friendships he has formed with his teachers and friends. Discovering his passions shaped him into the person he is today. David's favorite memory at GCS was being part of the ski trip. GCS has given him greater confidence in many aspects of his life. David will be attending San Diego State University in the fall, where he'll be studying business. And his quote is from Tupac Shakur. Life's a test, mistakes are lessons, but the gift of life is knowing that you have made a difference. David. Our next graduate was not able to be here today, Rohan Nedramali but I will read his words that he wrote and his quote. It has been a tremendous privilege to be able to attend GCS's beautiful campus every day, learn in a small environment where I formed great relationships and was surrounded by wonderful people. This has been an extraordinary journey, and as I begin the next chapter of my life, I'd like to express gratitude to everyone who's helped me get here. And his quote is from Neil Donald Walsh, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Emil Tiege. A defining moment was when I broke my ankle before my senior year of soccer. This incident has taught me that not doing anything while others only help you is quite amazing. I have learned from this injury to stay more active with my friends, family, and academic life and assist others in any way that I can. And Emile's quote is from Jay Cole. You have to hurt in order to grow. Fall in order to grow. 
lose in order to gain, because most of life's lessons are learned in pain. Emil. Nev Catherine O'Farrell. Nev wants to thank GCS for all the friendships that she has had the privilege to make here. She knows that they will last a lifetime. She also cannot wait to attend the University of Maryland to play lacrosse next year and is excited to see what the future holds. Nev's quote is from Kanye West, shoot for the stars, so if you fall, you land on a cloud. Nev. Wyatt J. Olson. I cannot begin to express my full gratitude for Glenelg Country School. Deciding to come here in the sixth grade was the best decision of my life. I have made lifelong friends here at GCS and love these guys so much. I'd like to thank my family and teachers as I would not be the person I am without their help, support, and guidance. I'm going to miss this community so much and I'm forever grateful that I was blessed to be a part of it. And Wyatt's quote is from Andy Warhol. The idea is not to live forever, but to create something that will. Wyatt. <laughs> Jordan Obehi Osagali. An important experience for me at GCS would be having the opportunity to host track meets, especially after my first year slash session being cut short due to COVID. I love the memories I shared with my teammates and cheering everyone on. Jordan's quote is from Nelson Mandela. Everyone can rise above their circumstances and achieve success if they are dedicated to and passionate about what they do. Jordan. Elizabeth A. Owibodi. My fondest memories at Glenelg Country School include getting shaved ice on family days, exploring the campus during free time, and hanging out with Ms. Weber and Grace in room 133, aptly named, quote, the Heidi Hole, unquote. Throughout my 13 years at GCS, I have not only learned to be a better student, but a better person. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and the GCS faculty for helping me discover who I am and who I want to be. Her quote is from Alfaba from Wicked the Musical. It's time to trust my instincts, close my eyes, and leap. Elizabeth. <laughs> Josephine Elise Pell. I want to thank everyone at GCS for all the great memories and friends I've made. I'm going to miss expeditions, class cup, photography with Memi, and film appreciation. Her quote is anonymous. Hannah Montana says nobody is perfect, but here I am. <laughs> John Pierce. I am happy that I chose to attend GCS in sixth grade. Ever since my first day of middle school, teachers have treated me with great kindness and have demonstrated their care by making my time as a student and growing adult successful. The GCS experience has granted me substantial academic knowledge, motivation, honor, lifelong friendships, and faith in my future as a college student and member of broader society. I'm thankful for the opportunities and challenges provided by GCS that have built me into the person I am today. And his quote is from Jordan Belfort, without action, the best intentions in the world are nothing more than that. Intentions. John. <laughs> Hannah Alessandra Quigley. Over my 10 years at GCS, my favorite memories have been the Barlow Public Speaking Contest and performing in all the school musicals. I would like to extend a special thank you to the entire Performing Arts Department 
for providing me with a creative outlet, to Mr. Stewart for shaping my academic passions, and to Mr. Macaluso for helping me become the student in person that I am today. Go Big Red, but always go Dragons. And Hannah's quote is from Amanda Gorman, for there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Hannah. Peyton Andrew Ridgely. I want to thank GCS for providing me an opportunity to meet my best friends and to enjoy my time in the classroom. My favorite memories from GCS are time spent with my teammates after practice and games and the free time spent on campus. I will miss spending time with friends on campus and I'm grateful for everything GCS has done for me. His quote is from himself, it's almost Friday. Peyton. <laughs> Philip Reed Roberts. The most important part of my GCS experience was the mentorship I received from teachers that helped catalyze my interests and turn them into lifelong passions. I've always been appreciative of the freedom and flexibility that GCS gave me as a student as it's enabled me to further my academic development. Philip's quote is from Richard Stallman. Sharing knowledge is the most fundamental act of friendship because it's a way that you can give something without losing something. Philip. Jackson Alexander Roth. <laughs> Glenelg Country School taught me how to wake up early and go to bed later, which will help prepare me for my future studies at the United States Naval Academy and a career in naval service. I want to thank Mr. Macaluso for being my advisor for the past four years and for refining my naval history. Go Navy, beat Army, and his quote is from Captain James Lawrence, don't give up the ship. Jack. Connor William Schrott. <laughs> Attending GCS has been one of my greatest experiences. While only being a dragon for two years, I feel like I've been here my whole life. I realized how special GCS is compared to a normal public school. I know that the relationships I've made with teachers and other students will last a lifetime. GCS has pushed me to reach my full potential and has helped guide me in discovering my passion for studying business. Connor's quote is from Ellen DeGeneres, the most important thing in your life is to live your life with integrity and to not give in to peer pressure to try to be something that you're not. Connor. Ariana C. Silvestri. My most valuable memories from GCS are the little things, the five minutes between classes, bus rides to away games, and messing around in free periods. I am grateful for the people I have met and the friendships I have made here. I'm going to miss the athletic and the art departments the most. No offense to the mass and math and humanities, you just really weren't my thing. I'm sad to leave, but excited to continue my lacrosse and academic career at the United States Naval Academy. Go Navy, beat Army, but roll guns forever. And her quote is from herself. They say perfection takes time. That's why I was always late, Ariana. <laughs> Trinity Alexandra Skidmore. She wants to thank GCS for leaving her with lifelong friends and memories. She will forever cherish the love and care within the teaching staff and the class of 2022. She would like to say a special I love you to her mom, dad, and two brothers, Paul and Joey. She will be attending East Carolina University in the fall where she will study to become a nurse. Go Pirates. Once a dragon, always a dragon. And her quote is from herself, it'll get done eventually, Trinity. Matthew G. Smith.
a significant experience at GCS. After school, I would hunt down a teacher to talk. Sometimes I'd find Hudgens, sometimes Tyndall, sometimes Weber, sometimes Zastro. Sometimes we talk about philosophy, sometimes psychology, sometimes writing. But no matter what, I'd always be delighted. Thank you, teachers, for my experience. And to my mother, you have sacrificed more than any man, woman, or child for mine and Emma's sake. I hope I am becoming the man you want your son to be. And this quote, this quote from Marcus Aurelius, the body and its parts are a river, the soul a dream and mist. Life is warfare and a journey far from home. Lasting reputation is oblivion. Then what can guide us? Only philosophy. Matthew. Caleb J. Solomon. I am most thankful for the teachers and mentors who have helped to shape me as a person, from my academics to my character, especially Mr. Schmidt, Mr. Hudgens, Mr. Matson, and Mr. Trow. Their guidance and expertise have encouraged me to further pursue my passions, explore philosophy, and to mature as a person. GCS has given me the invaluable opportunity and resources to become well-rounded and to prepare myself for college and my career ahead. Caleb's quote is from Desmond Tutu. Don't raise your voice. Improve your argument. Caleb. Garvin Sween. Hello, everyone. I am very thankful for the opportunity to have gone to GCS. The most important thing about GCS to me was the community. I've met lifelong friends and my brothers Cole and Chase Parr. I also love my faculty members as they were there for me every step of the way. Thank you, Glenelg, for everything and much love. And his quote is from Stephen, Prince Sween, you're looking very handsome today. Sabrina Rose Swing. When Sabrina Swing first started attending Glenelg Country School in the fifth grade, she was a hyperactive little kid who did not really know where she wanted to go in life, but with the guidance and support of the Glenelg Country School community, she thrived and discovered her interest in the sciences. With the help of her friends, family, and beloved teachers, Sabrina grew into the confident, friendly person that she is today. And her quote is from Will Ferrell. If no one comes back from the future to stop you from doing it, then how bad of a decision can it be? Sabrina. <laughs> Maria Valentina Tamarchio. I will never forget the excitement of receiving my Glenn t-shirt in pre-K. Being a lifer at GCS has given me memories to last a lifetime. The relationships that I've been able to form with teachers are ones that I will never forget. The work hard, play hard mentality I've learned here will guide me throughout the rest of my life. Maria's quote is from Gary Player, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Maria. Yasmin Tujar. GCS has truly brought Yasmin to find her passions. With its extensive curriculum, she has had the opportunity to explore a multitude of ideas and subjects, leading her to discover her interest in the humanities. Yasmin believes GCS is special in the way that it fosters individuality among its students while always promoting further self-discovery and development. She would like to thank her teachers, mentors, family, and peers for pushing her to become her best. And her quote is from Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest. 
If I am occasionally a little overdressed, I make up for it by being always immensely overeducated. Yasmin. <laughs> Darius Marshall Tyler. Throughout his time at Glenelg Country School, Darius has been tremendously grateful for the atmosphere that the school has fostered to allow him to grow and to evolve as a scholar and as an individual. He was constantly challenged both inside and outside the classroom, which helped him to step outside of his comfort zone and to accomplish more than he ever could have dreamed. He will take the lessons and wisdom that he learned at Glenelg and apply them as he goes through college and beyond. And Darius's quote is anonymous, we cannot become what we want by remaining what we are. Darius. <laughs> Devin Tyler. The GCS community has been extremely supportive of my learning journey since I joined here the first grade. The academically rigorous environment helped to foster my growth, creativity, and self-confidence while learning the value of teamwork, humility, and respect. I feel well prepared for my upcoming college experience and my ability to make a positive impact in the community. Devin's quote is from Oprah Winfrey. Know what sparks the light in you so that you, in your own way, can illuminate the world. There is Devin. <laughs> Jimmy Ward the third. As a lifer, I have seen people come and go throughout my 15 years at GCS and have had many memorable times. Although, if I had to narrow it down to just one time, would have to be something as simple as exploring this beautiful campus. Whether it be long runs for track or just walks from boredom during a school day, I know all the good nap spots on campus to escape to when wanting to get away from other students. I truly would like to thank GCS for all the great times I've had with my fellow classmates and friends. And Jimmy's quote is from Mr. Matson. You really have to focus on the now. And right now is manual arts and labor class time. And that couldn't be anything but good, fun, and delightful. So always be in the now. Jimmy. Maggie McNeil Wiseman. My most significant experience at GCS was being a member of the varsity lacrosse team. I learned many valuable lessons and had the chance to call that team my second family. As I'm extremely excited to continue my lacrosse career at the University of Maryland, I'll never forget how special GCS and my team truly were, and I'll cherish the bonds I made for the rest of my life. Go Terps! Maggie's quote is from Michael Scott. I guess I've been working so hard, I forgot what it's like to be hardly working. Maggie. Zoe Kassain Wright. As she looks back on the past four years at Glenelg Country School, Zoe will always remember having the opportunity to help choreograph the music man. She's forever thankful for all the time spent in the theater department, both on and off stage. She'd like to thank all of her teachers, friends, and family for being her biggest supporters and preparing her to attend Muhlenberg College in the fall to study dance. Zoe's quote is from Misty Copeland. The path to your success is not as fixed and inflexible as you think. Zoe. <laughs> Savelle Yavuzel. The curriculum at GCS is like no other. Its unique style of learning allowed Bell to flourish and to become who she is as a student today. The teachers played an inspiring role and have given her the proper tools to have a successful future. Bell would like to thank her parents for the opportunity to attend GCS and for their constant support throughout her high school career. 
She will be attending George Washington University to study international affairs and business. And her quote is from Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Spencer Yu. Despite not having a full high school experience here at Glenelg Country School, the community has never ceased to help me feel welcome. The teachers and fellow students that I confided in have, and I expect will continue to, support my endeavors through my rough and smooth phases of life. I will never forget the moments I forged at TCS as it shaped me into the person I am today. And Spencer's quote is anonymous. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Spencer. Graduates, in listening to your reflections and quotations that were read, we're struck by how far you have come, how much you have grown, how much you have given to the GCS experience, and how much you have derived from it. You embody all of the things that make GCS so special. An ability to think critically and independently, an embrace of diversity, an emphasis on relationships, and the pursuit of excellence. It's not coincidental that our faculty, staff, and administration share these qualities, and we thank them for all that they do. A few additional words of appreciation to Brandon Neblett, Greg Koffel, and Courtney Bell for all that they do to lead and to strengthen our upper school. To our operations and grounds crew for all they do behind the scenes to make beautiful events like today possible. To our leadership team of administrators for your vision, hard work, and team-oriented approach to everything you do. Most of all, thank you, graduates. GCS is a better place because of what you did here. And we are filled with hope and excitement in imagining where you will go and what you will do in the years ahead. Hold on to your dreams and persevere. About dreams, Woodrow Wilson said, we grow by dreams, all big people are dreamers. Some of us let dreams die, but others nourish and protect them, nurse them through bad days, to the sunshine and to the light, which always come. So graduates, here we are. Please stand, turn your tassels. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present the class of 2022.